Hi, Genki this. In today's video, we're talking about the massive sales numbers of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in Japan. If you like the video, please subscribe to help out the channel. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet launched on November 18, 2020, and Nintendo soon announced that the games had sold over 10 million units worldwide in the first three days on sale. And 4 million of those sales were in Japan. It's wild! Despite the bugs and many technical issues with the game's performance, the game got off to an amazing start, becoming the biggest Pokemon launch ever, and also the biggest Switch launch ever, as well as the biggest Nintendo launch ever, and the biggest console exclusive launch of all time, as tweeted out by Benji Sales on Twitter. It's absolutely amazing sales results in the first three days on sale. 4 million of those sales were in Japan, that's 40% of all worldwide sales coming from Japan. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet launched with 2,537,292 physical units sold, according to Famitsu. Out of the 4 million sold in the first 3 days, 2.5 million were physical copies. And it shows just how strong the physical sales market still is in Japan and for Nintendo. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet overtook Splatoon 3 as the fastest launching game in Japan ever. Just a few months ago when Splatoon launched back in September, it became the best launching game in Japan, selling 3.45 million units in the first three days in Japan alone. That was digital and physical. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has already overtaken Splatoon 3, selling 4 million units digitally and physically in the same 3 day time period. Japan really loves Pokemon. The marketing for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in Japan was crazy. The marketing saw massive Pokemon ads all around Tokyo, from ads on the TV and on YouTube to ads on the street of Shibuya, on massive billboards all over the place, to the famous Ichimaru Q 109 building in Shibuya. And there was this amazing 3D billboard on display in Shinjuku too. Pokemon was everywhere. They even had Pokemon themed onigiri rice balls being sold at 7-Eleven, or should I say, Pokemon themed jelly filled donuts. These donuts are great! Jelly filled are my favorite! Nothing beats a jelly filled donut! Pokemon is super popular in Japan. Kids and adults all love it. It's a great game that people of all ages can play together. They even had the special Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Switch OLED which sold out instantly in Japan and is still super hard to get a hold of. Pokemon is a massive phenomenon in Japan. When it comes to the game's performance, Japanese gamers don't really care as much about high performance such as 4K graphics or 60 frames per second in their games as much as gamers in the West. And this was shown with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Even Famitsu Magazine Review gave it a 38 out of 40, two points off a perfect score. And even online, Japanese users were posting glitches, but more as something amusing and to laugh at, and not so much in outrage against Game Freak, like many users were doing online in the West. The Japanese market just doesn't care as much for graphical fidelity and high frame rates as compared to in the West. That is why the Switch is selling so well and has recently crossed 27 million units sold in Japan alone. The Switch is completely dominating Japan and games like Splatoon and now Pokemon are helping it to stretch that lead even further. In Japan, I think they care more about the aesthetic of the game and the world and imagination within their games. They prefer more fantasy designs and more colourful settings to their games, and those games are the most popular in Japan. And not so much the very realistic or cinematic games like God of War or The Last of Us that are so popular in the West. With the performance of Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think the issue is more with Game Freak than the Nintendo Switch. Of course, a more powerful Nintendo Switch would help the frame rate and performance of the game, but I think the main issue is the experience and size of Game Freak as a studio. Game Freak are only a small studio with only 169 full-time staff members, 
I think they need a bigger staff count, but they have always wanted to stay reasonably sized so they can manage their team more tightly and not be overwhelmed. I think Game Freak need more staff and more time in order to make a more polished game. The Pokemon Company and Nintendo recently put out a statement and patch notes saying that the performance issues will be addressed and I hope we do see them fix the performance issues in the game going forward. In conclusion, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has been a massive hit in Japan and all over the world. The game took elements from Sword and Shield such as open zone area and Arceus such as seeing Pokemon in the open world and throwing Pokeballs towards them and using Pokemon to traverse the open world area and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has become the first fully open world Pokemon game ever. Many people in Japan are really enjoying the game and I've been enjoying the game too. I really hope the performance issues can be addressed but in Japan people don't seem to care as much about those issues and are happy with a new Pokemon game that is fun to play. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and the massive sales worldwide and in Japan. Also, do you think the Pokemon company will actually fix the performance issues? Let me know. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Janet!